Hello everybody. Uh, welcome to a 2021 video on the Blue Broad channel with Pom. I'm back. We done one yet? I don't think no, we've done no, one no, yet. No, 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 we haven't. This is our first of 2021. Yeah. Well, first of all, welcome to the studio. It's pretty it's, nice, uh, isn't it? Yeah, I've come off. Uh, I've come a long way from uh, my mum and dad's study. <laughs> I, I mean, it's been a cool shot for me driving here. We're in Armadale. Like, this is so posh when you're living in Endeavour Hills. <laughs> Just a kid from the northern suburbs, mate. Uh, never forget. But today we're going to have a look at our, our draftees and our rookie pick. Um, these guys, you know, we want to give them some, some spotlight. We want to showcase what they can do and react to some of their highlights. Now, Pom, you've gone and found some highlights from uh, from some of these boys that haven't really been shown yet. Yeah. I think the Durden ones we've seen, but the others were you found them elsewhere. So YouTube cannot copyright these um, this footage, or the AFL can't. So um, sorry, Gil. Yeah, sorry, Gil. <laughs> but uh, mate, let's begin. Why don't we start with um, let's start with Luke Parks and then Jack Carroll, and then we'll end with uh, our boy Corey Durden. Yeah. So. And um, Parksy, well, I'm going to call him Flipper. Okay. I think from now on because okay. the Australian TV show from the '80s. Yep. Flipper, he was faster than lightning. Now this kid is fast and quick. Now some interesting stats for Carlton and for us to bear in mind this season, and we'll have a big discussion on this moving forward, is where I think our issue is of six goals, and it's taken me all poor season to find you this stat okay. from your uncle Pom. Interesting. So. If you look at our stats and you look at the key things like marks inside 50 and, and disposals, we're not too far away from the top eight. Particularly like if you look at West Coast who finished fifth, they only had five more scoring shots than us. For the so, year. Yeah, so it's not bad. Okay. So the goal differential, it's definitely when you look at our issue, it's our defence. Okay. It's our ability to control the game. Now, I've created a stat here, defensive control. And this is, I think, where our issue is. In the defensive positions, Richmond and Eagles, who I would consider the two premier sides at containing pressure, mm -hmm. they average 34 and 33%, which is over the AFL average of 30, of disposals coming from their defensive positions and holding the ball and slowing it down. Right. Carlton are the worst in the comp, 25%. It's because we just bomb it and yeah. get it away. Yeah. Now, where Parksy comes in here is this guy is an intercept genius. Now, Carlton, uh, number 10 in the comp for forward turnovers. Okay. But we are last from abilities of defensive turnovers. Okay. So if we stop it in the defensive half, we don't often score from it. It's usually in the forward half of the ground. Now, this is where this kid comes in. He's got an elite kick. Excellent intercept, and he's also got this speed, and I think this complements what Saad and Williams have been brought in to do. Mm -hmm. I think team knows we kick too much, and the top teams handball under pressure. Yeah. So this guy's got the speed to play them one twos. If you look at West Coast, you look at Hawthorne, Geelong, that's how they stop these six goal swings, and that's why they don't have them. Mm -hmm. They're willing to run it, mm -hmm. and you can't do much with the ball. And our game is situated if you run and carry. You can't really get the ball back. Mm -hmm. Our game is very predominantly based on that. Mm -hmm. And this is where he can come in. Very good, airily, very his speed as well. I can't get over how quick he is. He ranked in the top percentile in the 20 metres. So he is Usain Bolt. I didn't know that that was his trait, honestly. I thought it was just about his um, composure and intercept marking. I didn't know he had the, the speed element to his game. I was very shocked he was eligible for the Swans that the Swans didn't take him. Okay. He is a steal. I, I thought he would go in the top 50 of the draft. Interesting. I thought Sydney would do it. He's really exciting. Now, if we watch a little bit, yeah. this is what we can expect from Parksy. So, we can see here he's very clever at wrapping the tackle. So, he gets the hold of the ball. His yep. tackle technique is impeccable. He invariably takes the arms. And you can see that he looks to play it very quickly. There's another one here as well. We see his ability airily, very confident oh, wow. yeah. to take the marks out in front. And you can see here he's looking for this kind of T game plan. He always looks back Absolutely. inside, looks to give it off. Yeah. No messing around. Okay. And that's something that we can expect from him. He's got very good vision as well. Yeah, interesting. I like what I see there. I like what I see. All right, that's uh, Luke Parks. What about young Jack Carroll? Because he he was the he was the kid that slid, wasn't he? He's an uh, underage kid. Tell me about him and remind me about him, and, and we'll watch uh, some footage. Well, 
I think with Jack Carroll, I was shocked he didn't go. Now, last year we had Devin Robertson, who yes. slid for some unknown reason. I had Carroll definitely in the top 20, so he never featured in our videos because I thought if I'd put him out there, I'd get the same stuff I always do on YouTube. He'll be gone by our picks. Who knew? Who knew Ooh, that? Yeah. Who, who knew? But this kid has got it all. Inside, outside, he's class. He is... when. I'm going to make a pom bowl call. 2030, when we do, let's recap the 2020 AFL draft, mm -hmm. this kid will be a top 10 pick. Yeah, right. You think he's that Lock good? that away. Wow, okay. Lock it away. Interesting. And I think what he brings is something that we talked about at the start of this video. He's very, very confident to play the ball via hand. He's very confident. He's... I've got round here, time on the ball. He's one of them players, and I heard this rep, um, comparison at the AFL draft, Scott Pendlebury. I hate comparing players to current players because yeah, I think course. everyone's an individual, but he's Pendlebury-like in the terms of time stands still. Gotcha. He has more time on the ball than the average bear. That's a very good trait to have. 187 as well, which is key. All top footballers now are, are tall. That's tall for a midfielder yeah, traditionally. Two, yeah. And he's amazing on the air, amazing on the ground. He's got got it. He's complete. He's a complete package. In yeah. my opinion, this guy is my comparison is peak Mark Murphy. That's what you're thinking of, mate. That's what you're thinking of, Mark well, you're Murphy. You're talking to the right guy. <laughs> Come to the right place. I reckon when Murph retires, yeah. Carol's going to be your blue eyed boy. This okay. is this is the new Murph. And he's That's a got, big call, mate. That's a massive he's call. He's got what Murph's got. He's clean. I, one of the games I was watching recently was his game against Claremont. And he had when he had 36 touches, four goals, eight tackles. Mm -hmm. So what we're talking about, this kid can do. This kid is a one-man wrecking machine. Okay. And if you look at Murphy when he was in his peak, could go on the outside, damage you. Class. He could go on the ball, damage you. He could break from the pack and kick a snag on the run. Mm -hmm. And he likes getting involved in the defensive sector and the forward sector. Like Mark did when he was at his prime, yep. he would be back defending. Then suddenly we turn it over, we run forward. He's suddenly there in the pocket for the goal. This is what this guy does. High work rate. I like it. And if we watch a little bit yeah, yeah, let's see of he's got. the Carroll. So this is taken from his nomination for player of the round. Okay. Uh, 26 touches and a goal. Six uh, marks. And look at him here. His hands in traffic and under pressure are, a bill, are, are ahead of his time. Let's have a look. And you can see here, look, he's, he's, he's second and third oh, efforts. He's, he's reading it. He's thinking. Reading it. Yeah. Reads the play. And this is a wonderful passage of play here as well. So you look, reading it off the back of a pack, which Carlton players have no idea how to do. <laughs> we really don't. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see here, he, he looks for the efforts. The, he's clever, sneaky. That's a very smart goal. Interesting. On his left. I like what I see. I like what I see but from this kid. But again, a and he's got kick. he's got a situation where he's young. There's no there's no pressure on him like there was with, for example, Paddy Dow gets drafted straight into the side. I don't imagine Jack Carroll to be playing this year. I mean, he might, but I don't imagine he'd be playing this year. Maybe maybe not even next because he's still very raw and young. And um, I think the fact that he's got Sam Walsh there, who's still very young. He's got Patrick Cripps as well. I think he's in a good environment to to learn off these guys. If I was Teague, I'd maybe be looking at. Doing the stocker cheat and okay. playing him off halfback in VFL. Okay. So he learns the game. Okay. Learns the speed. You've got to remember, I think what we've technically done, the way I'd look at it, if I, I was shocked Richmond didn't take him, I had him at Richmond's pick mm -hmm. because I thought this kid's a Richmond player. Yeah. Does, does it all. And also, you're cheating because I actually think his age, I'd be looking as if he's a 2021 draftee. Okay. So I get a year. Of kind of a pre-selection like Gold Coast do. So to me, this kid, I, I honestly will say he will play in our dynasty. He will Love be it. in a dynasty team. Love it. The midfield of Carroll, Kemp, Walsh. I mean, uh, Ca Carroll and Walsh. Oh, and wow. then you think Martin Cochin. That's yeah. Mickey Mouse compared to these two. Okay. Pom Coles. I like it. Pom's big call. That's <laughs> number two for the year. <laughs> We're back 2021. <laughs> Come on, boys. Um, uh, now we've got the boy. Blue Abroad sponsored player, Corey Durden. Yeah. Our absolute boy who we were the only people, or I should say you were the only person to um, predict 
uh, that we should go after him. Nobody else uh, spoke about it, mate. You were the only one. So, uh, well, he's, he's, he's got. He's I got, see why. He, he's got two big things now. He's the Blue Broad sponsored player. Yes. And what when, an achievement. And <laughs> it's common that if you are a forward and Pom loves you, yeah, you get delisted. So, true. <laughs> Very so true. Corey, if you're watching this, mate, please break that dunk because I'm yeah. sick of liking players. <laughs> <laughs> they go on and get delisted. Uh, yeah. No, I, I think this kid's. Uh, I think that he's he's just exactly what we need as a small forward. We, first of all, we needed a small forward, not a midfielder that we're going to turn into a small forward. Um, the pace. You tell me about him. What what do we need to know? Well, imagine if you went back to the glory forward line of small forwards. Okay. You've got Eddie Betts. You've got Gartlett. And imagine mixing them up and 20 years later, throwing him in the AFL draft and you'd get Durden. Yeah, this Corey kid yeah. has got it all. As yeah. a small forward, we've actually drafted a small forward. Let's let, let that sink in, Carlton yeah. fans. We finally drafted a small but forward. This kid knows what he's doing. Yeah. And he's already ready for AFL and I know this year we had a lot of talk about James Rowe yep. and he was a viable option he's got goal scoring ability mm. but one thing that Rowe doesn't have that this guy has is he gets defensive pressure yeah he, and that's a, that's Teague's he's second yeah. third fourth maybe a fifth effort yep. he ain't gonna make it easy and he's got that natural ability yep. he's got that natural evasiveness you watch him and he, he does that Zach Fisher dance. Mm -hmm. He's willing to take the game on and he's willing to open the angles. Love it. He's a modern day player. And I think what's exciting is he's got bets there. Yeah, now, yeah. We always talk about the bets factor and I'm always thinking, who's bets helping? We haven't got a small forward. Betts has got someone who has got his brain length. Yeah, got you. So I'd imagine Betts and him think the same at 18 in the way of football. They get taking it on, looking for your moment. Yeah, reading the play. And Betts is the best probably ever mm -hmm. at doing that. Okay. And now he's got someone who's got that raw talent. Yeah. And now Betts can fast trap this kid and yeah. say, look, it took me 10 years to learn this. Mm -hmm. You're learning it first week. Is there any reason why he can't play this year? I, round one. If he's got the composure to play in the big with the big league and doesn't get uh, you know overawed by the occasion, he's, I don't see why. He can't, well, why my he opinion, can't play. Mickey Gibbons does his best work in the mid. Yeah. Mickey Big Gibbons can start having more mid time and yeah. throw Durden in his position. I think Betts starts to really phase himself out mid year, so this guy takes over full time. But That'd I think ideal. pocket forwards of Fisher yeah. and Durden. Yeah. That is. Shh. That is how you spell. I mean, you can probably spell flags between both them names. I think. <laughs> like these two, these these two will be good. And let's just have a look at Dud. And so this, you've seen this video, but let's just go back to them. These three that's goals. That's exactly he's got. what we need. I mate. mean, that's a Fisher thing. Yeah. That's, you know, just take the guys yeah, on. That's exactly what we need. And you see it here. Look, he's he's got eyes for goal. Yeah. And to me, that is the biggest thing we yeah. need. So, he's a really good size for a draft D2, I've noticed. I mean, a lot of them are these days. Oh, he's small as well. He's small. Actually yeah. small. Yeah. Like, it's not like, you know, oh, you're nine foot eight. Do you want to play small forward? Yeah, you're six foot, but you're a small forward. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he brings players in as well, which I think is important as well for the club. He, this, this. Look at this turn This is what, yeah, look at this. Imagine that round one when he's yeah. running away from Dylan Grimes like yeah. the muggies. Yeah, that's that's exactly right. Um, he's, he... Yeah, that particular goal there. And I think there was another highlight that I saw. I think he missed the goal. But the run and carry, he's, unbelievable. He's got, he's, he's got something. He's got that, whatever that X factor is. Yeah, it's like, oh, what's got, he about to do? He's got that, that uh-oh, something, something special is about it. to happen. Okay. Uh, and I can only imagine he's now a professional athlete. Um, the way he's training now, uh, that's only going to improve. Um, just hope that uh, he settles himself in and, and you know feels comfortable and confident. And I think I've got the feeling Eddie would Eddie 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 knows what's good for the club. Eddie wants to fast track his development. I think I, hope. I think one thing with small forwards as well is every year we get a small forward from thirty to fifty who breaks out because it's the easiest position to play. Mm. Mm. It's it, it's specialist, but it's easy to play in the yeah. terms of you're not going to come across much if you've got the skill to read and okay. he's got the ability to read yeah. I wouldn't be surprised to see this guy be a lot for the first team very early I'd love to see it very early I'd love to see it yeah he'd be kicking bags of three and four in the VFL anyway it's only a matter of time well I mean I, th I think Saad, Williams and Durden they are three quality pickups yeah 
Interesting. Well, there you have it. Those are our draftees. A bit more of an insight into what can what we can expect from them. And uh, if there's anything else that you've seen from them, let us know in the comments below. And we can't wait to watch these boys in action. So enjoy and have a great one.